Howdy everybody, David here. We're going to be doing another product review and in this product review we're going to be taking a look at the February 2016 13th Age Monthly by Ashlaw and Rob Heinsu. This is a 10 page PDF called The Phoenix and you can get the 13th Age Monthly subscription from the Pelgrane Press website for $24.95 and if you subscribe you get a uh, access to all of Ashlaw's public play adventures which there are quite a few. Now if you don't want the uh, subscription service for $24.95 a year you can also buy each individual PDF for $2.95 each. Now the cover art, is, this represent, of course this is a fire or flaming phoenix. Uh, the art is by Patricia Smith. There are several pieces of art in this PDF and as you can see uh, the PDF is of uh, professional quality. It's not just something that's thrown together and given to you every month. They, they, these are actually really well put together PDFs. Okay, so the Phoenixes in 13th Age, they are a very rare creature. And they are not smart as in Dragon Smart. Now, the PDF has a, a lot of good lore on the Phoenix. Some of the lore is talking about how they are not intelligent. Now, they're super loyal. They're super loyal to its flock. They are loyal to its matriarch, to any kind of site uh, that it uh, fancies. So the, the phoenix will be loyal above anything else. But as for intelligence, they're not intelligent. That you know, comparing to say like a dragon or something, they're they're more humanoid smart, human smart, as the PDF states. Now, as for the Phoenix, it also talks about a life-death, life-death, life cycle. And this is a cycle that basically makes the Phoenix immortal. And the Phoenix will, when it's ready to transition to another stage of its life, whether, you know, one example is basically if the matriarch of its nest dies or its flock dies, then the phoenix being loyal to that matriarch will decide that it is going to go to a new stage of its life. So it will encase itself into an egg and be reborn. And it's a very long and slow process and the lore talks about this. Now as for the one, the one more other thing to you know touch about the phoenix and to compare them with the dragons you know they're not going to be intelligent like a dragon. Dragons are super super smart, all right, especially in 13th age. Now, the phoenixes they cannot communicate verbally with like humanoid uh, any kind of humanoid languages. There is no phoenix languages. They communicate through gestures and sounds that it can produce, and it kind of reminds me of what maybe Flipper and Lassie had done back in the 1960s if you ever watched those shows. So the phoenix would be compared to something like that. Now the dragon would just flat out speak to you, whether it be in draconic or human or whatever. So phoenixes, super loyal, they're immortal, they're always reborn with a life, death, life, death, life cycle. Uh, they can also transition uh, from, say, a, a flaming phoenix like you had seen on the cover, and they can also transition to, say, a void phoenix or maybe a solar phoenix. And that would be in its transition stage as it dies and comes back as something else. Now, uh, also you can have some fun with this uh, alternative psychology here. And this is actually a pretty cool twist, and 13th Age likes to do this uh, a lot, actually, in its canon. And the phoenixes, if you have them die a certain amount of times, you can, you know, this, this section here talks about the mind of the phoenix will go haywire and it will actually become a crazy phoenix. So that would be a good story or a good plot to do as well. So that's uh, pretty much the, the lore of the phoenix. And there's a lot more, but I just touched on like the, some of the important points. Now, uh, the next page is going to be pretty much as like all of these other PDFs and the core material itself. These, you know, these uh, phoenixes are tied in with the icons, and it lists all of the icons. It doesn't list every single one of them, uh, but it does list most of them and how the icons are associated with these phoenixes. All right, now. 
this is a has a quite a few stat blocks of the phoenixes and you can tell there is a lot going on with these phoenixes really nice i like that lots of variety but basically there is one of every type of, of phoenix so there's a flame bird phoenix as you can see the stat blocks are just like all the other stat blocks in the core book the bestiary all of the other pdfs you know there's all kinds of really nice quirks with these attacks uh, you know natural hits natural misses uh, missing damage just like pretty much every other classes special triggers all kinds of other uh, you know Phoenix type of features flying flaming wings uh, if the Phoenix dies it has a nice chart uh, where you roll a 1d20 and this is what happens when the Phoenix dies and then there's a nastier special so there's a level 3 double strength flamebird phoenix there is a level 5 resurgent phoenix and it has you know the same thing all kinds of triggers even and odd 16 plus all kinds of features uh, here's the void phoenix the void phoenix is a level 8 spoiler and it same thing all kind you know in every one of these phoenixes you're gonna notice has this rebirth chart and like I said it, it takes a d20 you roll it if the phoenix dies bam you roll it and this is what happens to the phoenix so i really like that the the mechanics and uh, for the monsters and the npcs in 13th age are, are far above pretty much all the other games out there and uh, and that, that's what's really drawn me into 13th age now the solar phoenix it is a large 12th level caster has all kinds of magic same thing uh, i would imagine this is probably a void phoenix beautiful art uh, and here's the rest of the stats as you can see this has a uh, uh, a chart as well reborn and fire now there's a a little section here phoenixes and treasure so there's a, a a new phoenix tears champion potion here is a phoenix cloak and then it talks about the phoenix eggs remember i mentioned that when the phoenix is reborn uh... it will encase itself in an egg so it talks about the phoenix eggs here and are they treasure or are they not treasure really good here's uh... what an egg would look like here's an adventure this adventurer is fixing to get probably the surprise of her life <laughs> All right, and last but not least, on page 10, here's a, a bunch of adventure hooks. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Great PDF, February 2016, by Ashlaw and Rob Heinsu. And uh, pick this up at the Pelgrane Press website, $24.95 for the year. You get 12 PDFs. Access to, you know, all the massive amount of ventures uh, that Ashlaw puts out. Puts them out just about every month. So, All right, guys, enjoy. Leave a comment down below. Do you like how the phoenix is portrayed in 13th Age? Uh, let me know in the comments section. Let me know if you'd uh, add anything, if you'd take anything away. And I, I'd sure like to hear about it. So thank you guys again, and until next time, happy gaming.